and about the direction the country is taking and the train of events that began in the coast last week. And I'm, I would advise, uh, I would urge you members of the media, because this is a public document, you read it and you will uh, agree with us on uh, what we are just about to say. The document is a public re redacted version of second updated prosecution pretrial brief on the case against President Uhuru Kenyatta in regards to the post-election violence of 2007-2008. This report should be read in the context of disclosures by the Deputy President, William Ruto, that Jubilee will use state resources and do whatever it takes to win 2017 elections. It must also be read against the remarks by Jubilee activist uh, Suleiman Shabal that Jubilee Party will win the 2017 general election by force, even if by buying or stealing votes. The report is a very detailed report, which I'm sure many of you have read, but I would urge Kenyans to read this report again and see a pattern similar to what is uh, being choreographed at the moment which preceded the 2007-2008 both election rigging and violence. So a pattern similar to that seen in the SEC report ahead of 07 elections has begun to emerge in the run-up to 2017. And I want to just highlight. For potential principal actors are beginning to emerge. That is number one. Number two, finances to buy the vote and fund violence are being mobilized through corruption. The Eurobond billions and NYS millions, which I would say would be also billions, because the revelation, the recent revelation is that it is likely to be more than 791 million that we have been talking about. The NYS scandal is rising also into billions. And we